Hello guys, thanks for clicking through and watching my latest video. I'm here in Devon at the Otterval Wild Campsite. Um, it's a great little farm that has quite a large woodland that they're fine with you camping in. They've got firewood, you can collect your own. Great little place. Anyway, the reason I'm here is because I've got quite far to come to go down to Dartmoor. Meeting up with a couple of other YouTubers down there. And um, this is just a stop off for me on the Thursday night. And tomorrow afternoon I'm going to meet the others down on Dartmoor. And we're going to have a woodland camp the first night, and then we're going to do fur tour camp at the top of that on uh, night two. Uh, so yeah, I've uh, pitched the tent, two man tent. I can actually sit up in this, so a bit of luxury today. We're glamping. Got my firewood. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. So I'm just going to cook up some food here, have a bit of a sleep, and uh, yeah, be refreshed for tomorrow. <laughs> Here we are on top of Hound Tour. Quite a few people about today. And there's some other YouTubers down there. <laughs> Okay, so we're here and set up now. This is me and the usual Fox One, little one manner. 
Over here we've got the, the two coals, Van Gogh and a DD, and Mike over there with the DD front line under a big old tarp. Natural fire lighting. Ain't working, is it? <laughs> Try the power of one. <laughs> oh, it look like it might. It's dry. You've got it, you got it. oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going. You got it. We might be having dinner after all. <laughs> Better I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> the steak may have been really rare. <laughs> it's aged <Blue>. steak now. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the smoke always go towards you? Yeah, we got it boys. I'd congratulate you, but I think it was all in the prep work. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we're just here by the campfire and I'm going to introduce you to the guys I'm with so you can check out their channels too. Tidy Bushcraft, cheers. Hi, I'm Mike from Cornish Noise and Camping. Hi, I'm Carl from Deadfall Bushcraft. Check them out. There we go, fire rock cooked steak, baked potatoes. Hiya, haven't filmed too much tonight, we've just been uh, chatting around the campfire most of the night. So, uh, yeah, sorry, haven't had too much to show, but we're on to fur tour tomorrow after some breakfast is the plan. So next time you see me, we might be having some breakfast and then hiking up there. So I'll see you in the morning.
Morning guys, uh, while my hard boiled eggs cool down a little, I just wanted to show you sleep system here. I've got this new Ozark summer bag, which is perfect, 15 pounds. And uh, I've got this new sleeping mat, second time I've used it now. Um, it is outdoorsman lab, and you can see how small it actually packs up, like the size of a beer can really. Um, it's pretty damn light as well, it's half the weight of my self-inflating bag that I had. Wasn't very good in the hammock, but in a, a small one man tent, it's perfect. It's like a mummy shape. I'll um, stick a link in the des description of the video if you want to check it out. It's 40 to 50 pounds, depending on uh, when you have a look. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll uh, show you it when it's um, put down as well. Okay, Dartmoor, tell us where we're headed for all us out of towners. That way. <laughs> uh, up over Sort and Tours, over Corn Ridge, down into Black Tor Cops, out to Black Tor, and then up to High Widows. I'm knackered. And <laughs> we've only just set off. <laughs> We're just en route to uh, Blackator Cops now, which is a place I especially wanted to see, the ancient oak woodland. Uh, so we're just in the pathway, we've just come over this river that's down here, over the bridge back there. The others are behind me a bit there, having a snack. Yeah, quite looking forward to uh, seeing this woodland. Uh, just take a minute to say, I wouldn't be down here this weekend if it wasn't for Dartmoor Explorer. Uh, so, if you want a little more information on uh, where we're headed and where we've been, I'd recommend his channel. I discovered it myself uh, when I was thinking about coming down here the first time. He was nothing but helpful in his videos as well. They really show in detail where you can go and get an idea for it before you actually visit. So yeah, check out Dartmoor Explorer. He's got a new channel too, which is Tidy Bushcraft. I'll see you when we get to the woodland. Here we are at Blackator Cops. Just about to check it out, we're just arriving now. It's been some rough terrain, but we're nearly there. I think we're gonna camp here for the night. Not actually in the wood, but uh, around it, as you're not allowed to go to camp inside. So let's go and have a look what it's like inside. Here we are, this is it. This is the uh, woodland. It's all natural English oak growing through the granite here. At least that's what it said on the sign. 
well worth the journey coming up here. It's absolutely amazing. Lichen and moss over everything. It's like saying uh, Lord of the Rings or something. I think we're gonna get set up and um, I'm gonna have a bit of an explore because it's a beautiful woodland. I've wanted to come here for some time and it was well worth the trek. We're not gonna get up to the uh, tour today, I don't think, but I've made it this far, I'm happy. As you can see behind me here, we've uh, set off for Blackator after all. We've still got a bit of daylight. We're soaking wet. We're just having a quick pit stop. And as you can see, it's pretty well. You can't see anything behind me, I don't think. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to make a little break for it and see if we can get up there, set up camp up there, try and dry out somehow. So it's uh, pretty much rock climbing at this point and when you're slippery and wet it's a bit perilous. Them uh, ferns get you soaked and my uh, self wicking, self quick drying clothing is uh, kind of not working so much now the sun's completely gone, you've got all this mist drawing in but we're so close. We're going to get up there and uh, pitch up there, somehow try and dry out before it gets dark. <laughs> oh, I'm the first up the top. The others, so if you see them, they're down there. <laughs> I don't know if this is, you can even hear me with this wind, but so up here there's two other peaks over there. I don't know which one is the actual official peak, but or oh, tour. If I'm counting this one, I might climb up that one after I've pitched a tent anyway. But yeah, I'm happy to be up here. You can see this mist is just moving in everywhere, all the way around. Brilliant. Nearly there. Made it! <laughs> now what? <laughs> Hang on. Hi guys, so I'm in the tent now. I've basically stripped down and got in the sleeping bag to uh, dry out a bit and uh, warm up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cook later because I haven't got much of a outdoor area in my tent. So. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping the weather improves a little bit before dark and I can heat up some water for my mountain house and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so as you've just seen, all packed up. Everyone's packed up now. We've all got our wet shoes on, our wet socks on. The uh, view is still rather misty. And uh, yeah, we've got to do what we did yesterday in reverse, basically. <laughs> and then a four hour drive. <laughs> Woo. Say it again, Mike. You croaked it. <laughs> really 
Just having a quick respite before we uh, cross back over the bridge and head up there, which is going to take it out of us. I think we're about halfway back now. Uh, sorry about not filming much of last night, it was just terrible weather and uh, wet clothes and that. Just got in the tent and tried to keep warm basically, it was hard to even eat. I had to uh, heat up my meal in um, Mike's tent because uh, my, uh, my flaps were flapping and uh, yeah that little thing is just not good for cooking him. I have to rethink that for hikes I think, for bad weather. But yeah, well, I'll, I'll film anything interesting on the way back but uh, we're nearly done here. Yeah? Finally back at the truck. Hi, so I've just dropped off uh, Dartmoor Explorer, so I'm on my way home now on my long drive. Um, just want to close up the video, just say thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and check out my other videos. There'll be some on the screen right now. Hope you've enjoyed this trip. I have, it's been quite eventful, um, but it's been a good experience. So I hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.